Hi everyone, Tay here back at Lift Our Studios with my summer intern Arden. Sadly, it is her last day today with us at Lift Ark. It has been an absolute honor to have you here. And uh, we're buying her lunch today and then <laughs> something else. She doesn't eat dairy, so the cupcakes <laughs> might just be for me. But anyway, we received an email, and I say we because you're very much involved on this build, from a guy named Frank Copen. Frank has been a product designer for a long time. He never said how many years, but in his email, he said long, long, long time. And Frank saw the video of the star shelf, this guy that Arden designed and we cut out and is hanging over there on the wall. And, you know, we, I voiced some issues with the design. Not real issues, but updates we could make to it to make it faster to assemble, yeah and um, well, faster to assemble <laughs> so that it can be cheaper and take less time to make them. And he went ahead and if you'll show the camera and flip through these, he went ahead and like sent over all these drawings. He, uh, he redesigned it to where the shelf is one piece and you just fold the tabs up on the side and then slide it into the slots in the back portion and then just weld it in like a few different places. There's the flat. This would be what basically gets sent to the plasma cutter. So we alter the back piece like this with a little, kind of integrate that back portion of the shelf, which is a really good idea. And then the shelf here with the tabs on the side that get bent up. So uh, this video is dedicated to Frank and Frank Copen. And he said, uh, well, after his original email, I said, thank you 47 times. And he said, <laughs> Hi Tay, I hope the design changes would prove useful. Please use them any way you like. I have been doing product design for a long, long, long time. So if you ever want to discuss additional ideas, let me know. How cool is that? I've been watching your channel and enjoying all the work. What a great shop. Frank himself has ordered a four by eight table. I assume he means plasma table. And he's uh, trying to learn what he can before it arrives. So watching us go through the process on YouTube has been helpful to him. So. That's awful sweet. Really cool to be able to uh, interact in that way. And uh, I feel good about making this video now because I have yet to respond again to his email. So here's a video response, Frank. But uh, how do you feel about taking Frank's design and bringing it to life? Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Perfect. Great idea. So we'll screen record Arden doing some redesigns. We'll follow up with her later today when she's got it close and maybe we'll tweak it once or twice after that. We'll send it to the cutter and uh, see if Frank's long career as a product designer paid off. I'm sure it does. If anything's gonna go wrong, it's gonna be something that I do. So uh, yeah, so we'll turn to Arden and Fusion. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. There's Noisy. Hi. <laughs> All right, and we're back with Hart. <laughs> I was just recording, or I thought I was recording, and nothing was recording. Well, now I know what to say. Real quick, we'll give them the, the Spark Notes version. But uh, Arden has done <laughs> Frank's design uh, justice, I believe. Frank, of course, the idea was to make something that could be cut out in two pieces, and the shelf is one piece with sides that are integrated that just get folded up and welded instead of separate pieces that you have to clamp and hold in place. You've already told me this, but if you tell the people at home, how do you feel about it? I really like it. Um, I think it'll be a lot easier to produce and a lot less time for you. Um, yeah. And like you said, let the machine do the work. Right, and that's the benefit of having something like a CNC plasma is that you can make a complicated piece like this and just set it loose and see how it does. Instead of, you know, last time I was doing all the work, which mm -hmm. is, you know, not the point. And, yeah. it, and at that point, they don't become very affordable because I'm more expensive per hour than that machine is, for sure. <laughs> uh, but no, that's rad. I think it looks great. Now there's two pieces to cut. So 
before you, maybe in the next hour, if possible, uh, give me two DXFs and we'll, I'll put some eighth inch steel on the cutter and we'll see if it works. Go team. Walker's here. Can't you tell? I just made it. <laughs> <laughs> I put the camera in Arden's hands because Walker's busy. So she's doing great. You should see this. The, the rig's about as big as she is, but. All right, so we got, we got our plate. We are gonna cut version two of the Star Show. So this is a leftover plate from when I did Bigfoot, which is why it's such an odd shape. But this is why I keep scraps. Good? Yeah. I'm just so much lower than that. <laughs> yeah. Frank, this is for you, man. There's Arden. You wanna push the button? Press enter. Um, press page up a little bit to raise the torch. Uh, and then, yeah, press enter. Moment of truth. How do you feel? Excited. <laughs> yeah. How'd it do? Good. Look at that, y'all, it's gonna work. Arden drew this and I gave her a challenge to make some neat things I can cool. make from scrap metal and in an Etsy sort of way, it could sure, sell sure. well. This is version two. The design was more or less submitted by a guy who watched the YouTube channel, cool. who's been a product designer. And this is a sort of a wall plate with a shelf for like keys and stuff. Cool. Now this bottom shelf theoretically can be bent here, here, and here tack welded and then the slots should if Arden did it properly line up it's like a, like a model car I know right breaking off the tabs so <laughs> yeah exactly let's just hope the tabs don't break <laughs> Even though Matado is better. Now, do these fold basically right in the middle? <laughs> I don't want it to break. Well, I don't think it'll break. Here's where we get to observe the physical properties of A36 mild steel. Do you think it'll break, Aaron? No. How easy that was. Oh, it's so satisfying. That's so much easier. You're bending the next one. <laughs> Leverage. Just, Just grab at the top and pull. Look at that. Nice. All right. This one, you need a bigger vise. We might, we'll do this as a team. I'm gonna grab right here. You ready? Bend down up together. All right, is it fitting inside? Nice. 
It is just a number. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, look at how that lines up. Now. No matter. That's right. Yes. It can be a little tight, you know, it's not gonna be perfect. <laughs> you wanna go again. You hold the ends. There we go. Look at wow. that. How that satisfying. So wow. I can't tell you how much faster than the last one it was. Well yeah I can. About an hour faster. <laughs> how rad. That is so cool. Well, you did it. That's awesome. Nice work. All my days work. Well, what I'm excited about for you is that you got to see like drawing and design and then how it actually gets made. Yeah. So like what happens when you bend? Like there's like perfect computer conditions and then there's like hot, sweaty metal shop conditions, yeah. you know, and then you, you learn how like material gets eaten up by the bend and where things end up. Um, the good part about fusion is that it actually simulates a lot of that really well. But now, you know, going into your junior year at Tech, you get to maybe have a little bit more understanding of material. raw material and how it all works okay. together. Yeah. Well. This is the end of Arden's stay with us this summer. She's gonna go back to tech as a junior in the uh, industrial design program. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm nervous for non-COVID years. Yeah. It's gonna be more challenging, but that's okay. Yeah, right. You don't get to cheat at home on your laptop anymore. I never cheated. <laughs> never. Well, I'm sending Arden home with the original one we built. That's your mm -hmm. gift for the summer, fall, wherever throw your keys in there or whatever. And um, don't forget about us. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. So as promised, prototype number one. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks. That's her birthday in two days. What? Happy birthday, Arden. Thank you. Aw, I can't wait to hang it up. It can go like right in the doorway of my apartment. Heck yeah. There you go. There you go. I'd give you a hug, great. but I couldn't be grosser right now. So <laughs> how about a stern high five? Me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. um, well thanks again. I, it was my honor truly to have you here this summer. Yeah. So. It was so much fun. Um, thanks for putting up with computer weirdness, my <laughs> scatterbrainedness. That's okay, it's two days a week. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm stuck in here all day. <laughs> um, cool. We're gonna miss you. We are gonna miss you. Gonna Everyone, um, tell Arden how rad she is in the comments. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> Looking at you, one guy. Yeah, one guy who, who knows who he is. Yeah. Anyway, here's the second goodbye of the video. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for watching.